Here we have a case of a 45-year-old woman presenting to the ER with headache. Here we have some axial CT images. I'll give you a second to look at those. Now we have some MR images. This is a flare image on the left and a post-contrast image on the right. couple more images. These are both post-contrast. So your first question is, what is the most likely diagnosis? And which of these diagnoses does not cause diffuse leptomeningeal enhancement? For this case, we have a case of metastases with leptomeningeal disease. This patient has a number of enhancing nodules uh, in the brain, and then there's diffuse nodular enhancements of the leptomeninges. Uh, you also see abnormal flare along the CSF. Uh, when you have leptomeningeal enhancements, you want to think about infection, inflammatory conditions like sarcoidosis, and malignancy. Uh, so here you see this is the original CT. You have some hypodensities in the deep white matter, particularly up near the vertex. Uh, the abnormality on the right, uh, so this hypodensity in the brain stem, it's very difficult to tell that that's a real finding, uh, given that this is an area which is prone to artifact from the adjacent bone. Here you see the MR, though, and that confirms that this finding of the posterior fossa is real. So you have abnormal flare here in the uh, inferior left cerebellar hemisphere and firmus, and uh, you have an enhancing nodule uh, adjacent to it. Uh, here, if you come up higher, you start to see the abnormalities, which are up higher. So you have this enhancing nodule up in the higher uh, cerebral hemisphere. And then uh, if you look at the posterior fossa, this is a nice classic appearance of leptomeningeal disease. Uh, you have this sort of hazy enhancement that kind of follows the sulci. You see it really nicely here uh, in the interpedicular cistern and in the uh, folia kind of overlying the superior aspect of the cerebellum. Uh, this is what posterior fossa leptomeningeal disease looks like. Uh, the answer to your second question is that uh, spontaneous hypotension usually does not cause leptomeningeal enhancement. In that case, you usually get uh, smooth symmetric dural enhancement, so that's going to be pacumeningeal enhancement.